Janet Nelson Jr. Please spell the word diphtheria. Diphtheria. D-I-P-H-T-H-E-R-I-A. Diphtheria. Correct. Go me. I'm smart. Go me. Next student, Johnny Test. Please spell the word go. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, yes, go. Right, I'm ready to go. The word is go! Go? Are you kidding? <laughs> no prob. <clears throat> go. G. G. Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! oh, how I wonder if he'll get it. <laughs> we need your answer, please. G E A U X. Go. <laughs> I couldn't spell go. Maybe your experiments are damaging my brain cells. Don't be ridiculous. Now excuse us while we lock ourselves in this lead box. It's called the hairdo ray. It will thicken, color, and style hair in seconds. I totally embarrassed myself in front of the whole school and Janet Nelson Jr. Maybe you just got stage fright because you like her. I don't do stage fright, and I don't like Janet. D-O-N, some other letter, don't. Who doesn't like Janet? She's the prettiest girl in school at the same time. You hate her, but you still gotta like her. It works! We'll always have awesome hair! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and now you owe me a favor. Make Johnny smart! And you shall receive. Behold, the super smarty pants. They look like an ordinary pair of pants, but the wearer will absorb all the knowledge that has been stored into the cyber pant fibers. And the low rise waist and ground dragging flare bottoms add style. I can feel my brain expanding already. I'm a genius. Uh, can you invent me a belt too? Johnny Test, student. His brain barely used. We can rebuild him. The pants will make him smarter. Smarter? Smarter. Faster. Stronger. More technical. And more mechanical. And Janet will probably fall in love with him. These pants have the technology and the cool fashion sense to make the world's first super smart Johnny Tech. Super smarty pants, I'm gonna hang you up on actual hangers. I love you. Another day, another opportunity to impress everyone with my super... Smarty pants? Huh, must have fallen off the hanger. Way off. Johnny, I hope you don't mind. I put you on our Battle of the Math Geeks team. Battle of the Math Geeks? Isn't that for math geeks? And for super popular and gorgeous brains like me. I'm the captain. And with you two, we can't lose! Whoa! Wait! Wrong way, stupid pants! Ah! How could pants attack you? It's not like they have brain waves! They're alive? Wow, this takes breathable fabrics to a whole new level. As of 1.34 p.m. yesterday, the Smarty Pants became self-aware. And until we can do more tests, they have to stay here in the lab. But what about the Battle of the Math Geeks? Shall I call ahead and forfeit for you, or do you want to take your beating like a dumb guy? No way. I think I've absorbed enough Smarty Pants power. I can win without them. Downstairs, bye. 
we just can't be together anymore. It's not you, it's me. And by that, I mean you freak me out! I'm glad you're on the team test. And I mean that sincerely, which is really weird for me. Our final contestant, Johnny Test. Find three consecutive odd integers whose sum is 105. Um, hockey? <laughs> what is the square root of infinity? Sausage? What is two plus two? Um, monster truck? Final question. For ten points, Johnny Test. Using binomial series, expand the following function as a Maclaurin series. Time out! Look, I know I said some pretty mean things before. But... I can't live without you! We rewrite the expression so there is a constant of one inside the radical. Correct, you win! Well, how do you like us now, pork butt? How do you like us now? Ooh, frozen juice smoothies for everyone! A uh, go smoothie! Go smoothie! I'll uh, see you at the frozen juice smoothie shop, Johnny. I need to look good. Then lose the smarty pants. They make you look wide through the hips. I'm guessing Janet doesn't like wide guys. I do not like Janet. Okay, maybe a little bit. Ow! Great job, math geeks. And ooh, great smoothie. What happened? Janet was abducted by pants! <gasps> the Smarty Pants took Janet. I need the hairdo ray. What for? The Smarty Pants are made of hair, right? They're actually a cotton fiber optic mohair blend. Close enough. I need the ray to destroy the Smarty Pants. Right! What he said! Johnny, wait! Yeah! Now we just have to wait for the Super Smarty Pants to fall apart like the hairdo ray made my hair fall out earlier. <laughs> Whoa! Didn't see that coming. Johnny, you took the big hairdo ray, a.k.a. the wrong one. But it still has that hair falling out defect, right? Actually, it has a different defect. And that would be... Lasers. Say what? Um, this might be a good time to... Run! But run to the school! I just conveniently remembered something that happened earlier that might help us now! Time to do a little turbo tailoring. You saved me. That was cool. Um, you want to finish that smoothie without all the pant filled terror? Yeah, sure. Why not? Go smoothie. 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 Go smoothie, go smoothie. Take your daughter to work day. All over Pork Belly, parents are taking their little sweethearts to the office to show them how jobs work. <laughs> Isn't that right, sweetie? Show them your real hair, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's also give your doggy your leftovers day. But, Mom, 
Do we have to go to work with you? Take your daughter to work day doesn't do anything for girls except keep them out of school. My meeting is at the Pork Belly Aeronautic Robotic Propulsion Lab. Okay, okay we'll, we'll go. go. What? They don't have to go to school? I want to go to work with Mom. Sorry, Johnny, but it's take your daughter to work day. This is an outrage, a conspiracy against boys across this great land, and I won't stand for it. I will not be denied. You girls have a great day with Mom. And Johnny, don't miss the bus. Here are your lunches, but remember, tonight is takeout meatloaf day. So I want you all home by six sharp for takeout meatloaf. Or you know what? You'll take away Dookie? You'll take away the lab. Kick, scream, and cry? All of the above. Bye! I told you I would not be denied. Hold it. You're not allowed in. Unless you agree to do all the fun parent-daughter activities today. The parent-daughter funny photo, model rocket contest, whatever. Mom, please tell me your meeting is in that super top secret lab. No. Even more exciting. <gasps> oh. A boardroom? Emphasis on board? We are in the most advanced rocket lab in the world, and we have to hang in a boardroom? Yeah, that's right. Well, I guess we'll be enjoying Take Your Johnny to Work Day outside, because there's no way we're getting in that lab without a pass or parent. I saw something in this spy movie once where this agent dude snuck into a lab disguised... Don't be silly, Johnny. Nothing you see in a movie works in real life. I stand corrected. Mom, it's great seeing you work with old guys, but we gotta go to the bathroom and <laughs> not check out that top secret lab or anything. <laughs> okay, I'll catch up with you later. Give it up. There's no way anyone is gonna let two unsupervised teens into a top secret lab. Hmm. We're in. Excuse me, do you have clearance to enter this lab? Turn around slowly. What are you doing here? It's my personal protest regarding the suppression of boys everywhere who must stay in school while girls get to go to work with... Okay, we get it. Well, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be with your mom. We're checking out the world's greatest lab, which also seems to be some sort of command center for military rocket tests. So where are all the important old dudes? According to this, everyone's at the parent-daughter funny photo. Think of all the things we could do here. Yeah! Like chicken fights! <laughs> Knock it off, Johnny. Chicken fights can be dangerous. <laughs> Launch sequence commenced. Deadly missile launching in one minute. Oh. Didn't I tell you it was dangerous? No problem. I'll just punch in some new coordinates and make the deadly missile land in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Target selected. Pork Belly Aeronautic Robotic Propulsion Lab. Why did you let me do that? Who lets a dog punch in coordinates? Run! There's less than a minute until the parent-daughter funny photo. Get your daughters and let's go. Say, funny photo. Funny photo. you are. Time to go. But, Mom, we have to see that top secret lab because we need to... Go! We can't be late for Take Your Favorite Dinner Home Day. Your father will be very upset. Man, I love holograms. We just need to find the self-destruct switch. We'll simply destroy the deadly missile before it destroys Pork Belly, and there's no self-destruct switch! <gasps> deadly missile locked on Pork Belly. I saw something in this movie once. Johnny, please! Nothing you see in a movie works out in real life! Actually, hear the kid out. This old general dude used his second rocket to destroy the deadly rocket, and it went <laughs> and the deadly rocket went <laughs> and everyone went <laughs> So it's a good thing he watches too much TV. So let's take out this missile before... 
It takes us out. Intercept missile launching. Time for the parent-daughter model rocket contest. Fire! And it wouldn't be take your daughter to work day without ice cream and fireworks. So if this doesn't work, we're all doomed, right? Yeah, that's right. Wow, that was much bigger than last year. We did it! We, we saved, saved thousands, thousands of lives! Yeah, but now you guys are toast. Dinner's in ten minutes and there's no way you'll get home. Ah! Mom will see that you two are holograms and Dad will see that Johnny cut school. <laughs> Quick, we need a smart, strategic, and effective plan. Right. Johnny, did you ever see a movie that can get us out of this? There was this one where a special forces army zooms in and gets the heroes back to base and stops the bad guys from catching them. Oh, that works. Let's just call a special forces army that can delay mom and dad and get us home in 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe we do have a special forces army, as in every girl in pork belly. Um, we're like girls, and we have to like get home in like 10 minutes or our dad will like ground us totally for life? Get in the bed. The red blip is mom, the blue blip is dad, and this is us. We'll never make it. This is as far as I can take you, but don't worry, I got you a faster run. What's your address? Daddy, you missed an emergency call at 252 Pork Belly Drive. It's no use. Dad's already at the meatloaf store. We'll never beat him home. You have a picture of your dad. Delay this, Dad. Delay this, Dad. Sir, you forgot your large drink and extra hot potatoes. Ah! Oops. I'll get you some towels, but it might take me a long time to get them. Awesome! Dad is stalled! <laughs> and so are we! No, you're not! We'll get you home! Okay, Dad! Drop your load! Ah! Okay, Port Valley traffic is clearing up nicely, and it should be a smooth commute home for dinner on this Take Your Daughter to Work Day. That's right, Dad. Now let's check the traffic over at the test house. There's Dad's car! There's Mom's car! But what are they going to say when they see a helicopter drop us off? And things look clear over the test house, except for Mr. and Mrs. Test and that mattress delivery truck. <laughs> We're here, and we beat your father home. <laughs> Sorry I'm late! So, do you girls still not like Take Your Daughter to Work Day? Actually, Dad, we think it teaches girls very useful skills. I'm still wearing the girls' outfit, aren't I? <laughs>